my best man and closest friend in the whole wide, wide world, Alan Bastard, MP. It, it was Alan, using his influence as a member of the House of Commons Catering Committee, who managed to arrange tonight's surprise menu at such short notice. Thank you. <laughs> Lord Hazlitt, vicar, bride and groom, ladies and gentlemen, first I must thank Piers for his kind words. He's a simple soul, but his heart's in the right place. <laughs> Although I can't say the same for his stomach. <laughs> Frankly, when I was asked to be best man, I demurred. <laughs> it's a weighty honour, and besides, I was on a promise with a busty clerical officer who works underneath Kenneth Baker. <laughs> However, as I'd conned Piers out of £500 to be his best man, I had to turn up. <laughs> no, no, don't laugh. It's all true. But when I saw Clarissa, everything <clears throat> fitted into place quite snugly. <laughs> Although how Piers ever managed to pull such a luscious piece of upper-class tail is beyond me. <laughs> I only hope that Clarissa's sexual appetite, which I confess I've been a party to, and it was quite a party, doesn't do for Piers' body what the cruel roulette wheel of heredity has done for his mind. <laughs> very effusively for arranging the catering at such late notice. Well, it was the least I could do after cancelling Harrods. <laughs> and as the secretary of the stale food disposal working group of the House of Commons Catering Committee, it was easy for me to lay my hands on two dozen portions of poached salmonella oh. and the five gallons of botulism sorbet, which seemed to have gone down so well. <laughs> and now seem to be coming up with similar ease. Well, as a self-made lower middle-class Tory who's pulled himself up by dint of his own talent and unscrupulousness, I can't tell you how happy it makes me to see all you landowning upper-class toss pots puking your rings. And that goes double for my Sarah here, who is to wifely loyalty what Edwina Curry is to help the aged. Those of you who managed to recover will remember this as a rather unusual wedding. And Clarissa Fletcher Dervish will know that I'm a very dangerous man to cross. Ah! Oh! ah, so. <laughs> so, if you'd all like to charge your glasses and be upstanding, no? Then I give you the toast. Piers. And Clarissa.